So in the last workshop we talked about how to identify what all variables should be used and how to come up with a credit policy for our customers. Right now we are going to be talking about how exactly these things can be are uh, technically configured in the system and how you can use them for making the better credit decisions. So starting off uh, what is scoring? So you would have hundreds of thousands of customers uh, that you are dealing with on a day to day basis. Scoring gives you a way of putting all the customers on a level playing field. So if I just give you a customer name, you should be quickly able to tell whether it's a good customer or a bad customer. Uh, if you have got any potential risk while selling to the customer. So scoring, uh, like to say it, is on a scale of 0 to 100. You can give a numeric value to every single customer and then just looking at this numeric value, you would know in a very short time how good or bad the customer is. Uh, it's a very easy method to compare the performance of the customer. And another thing to remember is you don't want to treat all your customers in the exactly the same way. As an example, you would have the Walmarts, the Targets of the world, and you can also have a small mom and pop shop. Obviously, you want to treat the small mom and pop shops in a totally different way compared to how you want to treat uh, the Walmarts and the Targets. So we define various different formulas based upon the type of the customer. While defining the formulas, we need various variables uh, from different sources to come up with the final score. So here I have given some examples of what kind of variables we can be using. We can use some internal information from within your system. So this internal information can be things like how long you have been doing business with that customer, uh, what is their DSO, how quickly that customer pays you, uh, how much bad debt you have with the customer. You can also use external agency information uh, for example, you can go to the DNB website, you can go to CRMZ and what these external agencies do is they basically collect information from various sellers, they collate it together and then give you a final report on how good or bad the customer is doing business with various other industries. So if there is a new customer that wants to do business with you, you can quickly go to these external agencies and get a feel of how good this customer is doing business with others and that will tell you how good the customer will potentially do business with you. The final source that we have are the financial statements. So if it is a publicly traded company, they would be giving the balance sheet, income statement, cash flow statement. Uh, you can use various inputs from these financial statements also and uh, use them to come up with a scoring model. So here I have a very simple example of uh, a scoring model that can be used. So as you can see in this model, I am relying a lot on the external agency's data. So from the DNB, we can be getting something like the DNB rating. We can get in the paydex score. DNB also gives us information like the number of employees they have. What is their average high credit with other customers? DNB can also recommend a credit limit to you. So based upon your business requirements, you can actually go through the DNB report and pick and choose what all variables you want to use. The next variable I have got is the Z-score from financials. Uh, again, there are some agencies that would do the calculation for you and provide you a Z-score. Uh, you can use this information directly from the financial report. And finally, I have given a very small percentage uh, to the number of years the customer is working with you. So that's the years in business as a customer. So this is just an example of a formula uh, wherein we are relying heavily on external data and very less on the internal data. One place where we could potentially use this model is in case it's a pretty new customer, you have recently started doing business with that customer, you don't have that much internal information in that case, you can rely more on the external agency data. However, if you have got some customer who's been doing business with you for a longer time, then it would switch over. Uh, you would rely more on the internal data and less on the external agency data. So the main thing to note here is don't treat all your customers in exactly the same way. 
look at the size of the customer, how long they've been doing business with you, what kind of data is available for them, and then come up with a scoring model.